Hello everyone, today we will be discussing the solution of lab assignment 1 in the mathematics course. So the first question is asking you to draw an ellipse which has the function x squared over 16 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. Shift it 5 units to the left and 3 units down, then draw the sh shifted ellipse and identify its center and major axes. He's also asking you to use the command implicit in maxima. So here's the solution for the lab assignment. So if we, tr if we track each question step by step to know how he reached the solution. So first of all, we use wx draw 2d, so as to draw the required graph in the, in the notebook itself, not outside. And then write implicit and wait. Do you know what the arguments that implicit take? No. So you can go to help, maxima help, and in the search field you can write implicit and list the topics. All right? Mm -hmm. So now it's somehow confusing. Where should I go? For example, take the first one, which is plotting. And you can search in the plotting for implicit. So control find and implicit search for it, you found something like implicit plot. Okay. If you press on implicit plot, it would take you what are the arguments that this function takes. So first of all, it takes the expression x range and y range. So now I understand what I'm going to put inside the implicit function. I'm going to take the whole, the whole function which he has, he's asking me to, which is x shifted by 5 to the left all square outside the brackets all square 2 over 16 and then plus a huge square where it includes y shifted by 3 um, all square 2 over 9 equals 1. So this is the expression that he's, he's asking us to put in the implicit function. Now we identify the x range and the y range. So x runs from negative 10 to 0 and y runs from negative 10 to 5. And then we put the semicolon and we evaluate this. So he's telling us that there is a bracket is missing. So how to track the brackets? So this is the one which is enclosed and open. This one, enclosed and open. And here at the end, I forgot to close the implicit function bracket. So this is so important to track the brackets whenever you get an error. Okay, I hope it works this time. So this is the function itself. Okay, so now it's drawn. So the error was just a semicolon here, which was wrong. Okay. So this is the output of this function. Then he's asking you to identify the center and the major axes, and then you can figure this out from the graph. So if you want to submit this answer, you can, you can click on the graph and then right click and copy or save image and then you save it in the specified path which you want to submit your homework from. Let's move to the second question. It says plot the function f of x equal x power x for x runs from 0 to 1 and comment about the behavior of the function when x tends to 0 positive. So again, 
make a new cell and remove this sign again so as not to uh, get the same error as before and then plot 2D so as to plot in the same notebook and then the function is um, f of x is x power x so simply x um, power x and it says that the x runs from 0 0.01 to 1 and you evaluate this cell by shift enter and then it gives you the graph okay now let's move to the third question which says which says graph the function g of x mm -hmm, where it's equal x times absolute sine of x and give your comment okay so again wx plot 2d so as to plot your function and you you write inside it the function which you want to plot which is x times absolute sine x now how can i write it so first of all you have to put in mind that you have to put the asterisk which resembles the multiplication so you can't write x times sine uh, absolute sine x directly you have to put the asterisk because this resembles the multiplication and then what if i don't know how to write the absolute and maximum this is quite normal so you go to help mm -hmm. maximum help and in the search field you can write absolute okay and then you can find it here and you can okay and that's here the function apps so this is how I should write it so you can go now to the notebook that you're writing in and you can say apps of the function which is sine x okay and the x is also inside a bracket now you should put the range where x runs from so in the example it's it it left it for you free so you can choose the range which you want to put so for example if this is the range i want to put and then i evaluate this then i get the graph and he's asking you to comment or give your comments so i guess you should say it's an odd function because it's symmetric about uh, symmetric on the x axis okay now let's move to number four it says limit for an x goes to infinity of 3x plus root 9x squared plus 5x minus 2 and verify result by plotting this function and and he and he gave you the range okay so first of all you should compute the limit and this is how to do it limit of 3x through x because this is the multiplication plus square root of 9 times x square x power 2 plus 5 times x minus 2 and the x runs to infinity okay this gives you the value negative 5 over 6 now if you want to make sure that this value is correct you should plot it so you can plot it like this wx plot 2d as we said before three times the same function inside and the x ranges from the range he gave you in the assignment which is negative 1000 to negative 0.9 and we evaluate this and this gives you the result and you can see that it it um, it, it crosses the the border at the same limit which is the result you got in the in part a okay this is considering number four now we move to number five which is evaluate the limit and he gave you a function of limit and then compute the series this is number b and compute your result in part a b and comment on your answer so if you want to put the limit so limit of you put two brackets and then one plus three times x the extras power one over x when x goes to zero and you evaluate this this gives you epsilon power 3 okay now you define um, now you define a new okay so this is g of x 
compute the series and compare the results when A goes to B. Now we move to question 6. So g of x of 3 times x power 2 minus 7 uh, 7x plus 1 root x plus 5 over x minus 1 when x node equals 1. So first of all you define this function and we took in the introduction how to define a function. You just write g of x and colon equals. This is the definition. And then you cite inside it the, the function you have which is exactly the same, so you are on the right track. And then you get the limit of this function of g of x when x goes to 1. This is negative 5. Now he wants to know what if g of x runs from the 099 to 1.01, .01, and that's between 0.1 And this is how you plot it. Okay, so this is for number six, and um, we will see you in in the solution of assignment. Um, two and three, hopefully. Good luck.